This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. that beautiful city below us that's new york city and that's where we're coming to you from uh tonight it's a wednesday night and uh we uh, jo- have everybody start joining us uh to be part of a citizen panel but before we get to that um we will uh gee, I have this dark spot in my tooth right here it's uh, just a shadow it's not any it's not a cavity or anything it's my teeth getting old, folks, like the rest of me. Uh, and, uh, you know, what the hell, you know? It's, 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 I'm, a, I'm a mess, all right? Okay? All right? I'm sure that this guy will agree with me, uh, Phil Meyer. We talk to him once a week. Why, I don't know. I have no idea, but we do. Hello, Phil. Hey, I guess you just want controversy. Well, I just want controversy. Sure, that's why you talk to me. I went to my uh, my uh, uh, oncologist today. Yeah, were you glowing? Well, I went to see him because yeah. I he he called me after two years and said uh, or his office did said he'd like to see you because he hadn't seen you in a while and he'd like to you know to see you, and I'm going. God, you know, all of a sudden, out of a clear blue sky, he decides he wants to see me, you know. Is there, is there money in follow-ups? No, there is. Uh, for him, there is. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, sure. You don't think I'm going to get charged for this? Of course I get charged for this. I mean, I won't get charged for this, but uh, uh, we uh, a, certain, a certain insurance company will. Here, I'm popping well, myself up. Getting upward. very tall. Huh? I'm just, I'm just trying taller. to get myself centered here. Yeah, you know, I can't. Uh, I, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, I can't get the camera in the right position because I'm going to get that new monitor in October. So what uh, monitor are you buying? What have they suckered you into now? I'm getting the uh, ISO. Oh uh, God, Jake, you're a fool. You're a real fool. Well, I, I've been, I've wanted one of those for ten years. Well. Yeah. Now they've got a, a new one that is uh, really superior, and it's reasonably priced. I've got, uh, I, yeah, well, that's, that's nice. Uh, you're a sucker for that kind. Yeah, of, I wish you. I'd made equipment. I'd, I'd be, you know, be able to sucker you. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. if you had equipment, you'd keep it all, and you'd use it, and you'd play with yeah. it. You're, a, you're an equipment whore, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to know where the hell... Oh, there it is. Okay, I just I didn't know where my picture was here. Uh, you know, you noticed I, that I, you oh, 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 hold on, I, hold on. Okay. I got it. I'm holding. I'm holding you. Wait a minute. I've, yeah. Well, I, I've, I've, if you I, had I, equipment, I, you'd I, keep it I, all I'll and you'd be, use it. There we go. All right. Uh, uh, see, what I happens noticed. is I get in here on Wednesday after five days of not using the place. Yeah. And and, and it, it's uh, everything. Nothing works right. You know. Where do you do the Monday show? I do the Monday show off another machine. Oh. Yeah. Is there a particular reason you do that? I just did once, and uh, that was the one we did it off of, so I just continue to do it that way. Oh. It's a very simple show. I don't even, uh, I just uh, do it directly onto Facebook from Zoom, you know. Yeah. Well, if you use this, maybe you'd still be set up by Wednesday, but. Well, no, I thought I had everything set up, but, you know. Yeah, well, I'm watching you're doing, stuff, you know. You're better today. I mean, this is mm-hmm. you know, yeah. It's, it's not, not it's not falling apart now. The only thing is, I got a new piece of equipment. Yeah, I got a new stream deck, which is the thing that I use. I push the buttons. You know. Yeah, I got one. Uh, yeah, I just got the. Uh, haven't it up. I got the huge one. Yeah. The How one. huge is it? Well, yours only has uh, what? How many? Six, how many six buttons? buttons? Six. So which one is that? Oh, that's the small one. Oh, that's the, right. yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I haven't gotten around to hooking it up yet. <laughs> that's the small one. I have that one uh, hooked up to my other machine. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. there you. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Yours is plugged in. Huh? Yeah. Yours is plugged in. But <laughs> I, 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 I put it on this uh, new machine, and uh, uh, it's on the new machine. Uh, but it, the, there are some problems. Sometimes I have to put, uh, turn on my switcher again. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it doesn't recognize it, you know. Yeah. But all, you know, other, I think that's a fault with their, their system because it yeah. also does the same thing on my other machine. Yeah. So I think they, they need to get their crap together. Screen deck together. issue. They need yeah. to get their crap together, you know. Uh, but I, it, I like but it's huge. Everything is out here now, and, you know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I, no, I noticed you have uh, a few more uh, followers on YouTube. And I think I know why. A few more followers on YouTube? What do you mean? I don't yeah, subscribers. Uh, you're no, at 1. I'm down. I, yeah, now I'm down to 1328. Oh, so two people got off because I got on? <laughs> yeah, they, I, I'm down to 1328. Uh, people, if you're listening right now and you never listened before, Go to YouTube. Push the bell. Go to and subscribe to the uh, to this thing we're doing here. Now you listen to a lot of YouTube. Smash, like I, smash the subscribe button. Big time. That's what they uh, say. Yeah, you you listen to a lot of YouTube like I do, and I have the YouTube without commercials now. I do too. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. but uh, even without commercials, sometimes you got to go through thirty or forty seconds of some guy telling you to subscribe to his. To his podcast and smash the bell and do the whole you know, yeah, the yeah. yard but um you know I, I you can zip past that anyway i i have an idea why your subscriber base is up from no it's uh, not up it's down well it's down for a couple of people but it's up it, it from was up a, to a it was ago. up to uh, 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 uh what, what uh, something 33 uh, 1333 and oh, now it's okay. down to 1328 oh uh you know there's uh there's a girl on uh facebook and on youtube named mm -hmm. alex bennett and mm -hmm. she's got a thing called the mean girl podcast really and, yeah and uh she's pretty hot you know and uh they they talk about all sorts of things and i think that maybe people well why just, don't you call them well uh, she, uh, she's got fourteen thousand uh subscribers and sometimes I see that she gets ninety thousand views. So you are know, you she, trying to make me feel bad? No, I'm trying to ask you: Are you really a girl? Are you really this hot blonde named Alex Bennett? No. And how is she using your name? You know, I could I could complain about that. Uh, yeah, but or you see, it you only it, 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 it only exists. The problem only exists. Yeah. If uh, she decides to join AFTRA, I see under the name Alex Bennett, she can't use that name. Well, how can she use Mean Girls, which is the name of a movie with uh, Lindsay Lohan? Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's also it's you, you just can say Mean Girls, you know. Yeah. So I mean, uh, it, it's it's not it's not a copyright yeah. infringement going well, on. Well, I, I thought maybe you were picking up some subscribers because uh, you know they cl people would click on Alex Bennett no, instead of no. Uh, I only wish. Bennett. I only wish. <laughs> I wish I had a vagina to show everybody. Okay, well, have, I don't. Have you have you looked at her podcast? Have I looked at her podcast? No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I didn't know you uh, know she exists. Tell you the damn well, truth. We'll get, uh, well, that's the guy from uh, Barstool Sports was screaming about her, mm -hmm. and he and I had sent you the thing where he was uh, cursing out Alex Bennett, and you wrote him back and said, "I don't even know who you are." <laughs> and, uh, so, anyway, yeah. uh, that's that's the uh, that's that. Now, England, I, I'm sure you're tired of the Queen. But you know that today, uh, the Queen had two corgis, which are little dogs, you know, and I guess they're cute. And uh, you know who was given the yeah. two and, and Andrew, Prince Andrew. Now, do you think these dogs have anything to worry about, you know, because they're a little on the young side? Or? I've already gone through this joke. Uh, oh, on really? The, on the Monday show, yeah. Oh, well, I didn't listen to the Monday show, so... I said, Sorry, the, the corgis better I... put a cork in their assholes. Yeah. You know, 
I thought they just gave the corgis today or yesterday. Uh, I don't know, but so, she, he's getting the corgis. I don't know why. She must have yeah. requested it. I'm sure they yeah. went to wherever she wanted them to go. Maybe Charles doesn't like dogs. I, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So, you know, this. Uh, you turn into the media, and I look at Fox, and uh, they're, they've got 24-7 Queen. Uh, the kids are walking behind the coffin. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Uh, look at the unity that they're showing. Yeah. And I'm saying to myself, you know, she was a nice lady. Maybe. Maybe she was a nice lady. No, she was, I, I, nobody ever said that she was a bitch. Okay. Yeah. Meghan Markle wasn't too happy. No, her, no, but... no. Meghan Markle had nothing against the Queen. She, uh, I think the problem they have was with Charles. Really? Yeah, I think Charles did not like the interracial marriage. Yeah, going on there. And uh, and you know, uh, Charles is uh, saying that he's going to fire his uh, the Queen's staff. You know, you got to figure that people. She was around for 70 years. You would think that a lot of those people uh, had had jobs for life. And now all of a sudden, Charles comes in and says, you guys are all out. And, uh, you know, my guys from uh, wherever he was. I'm sure they have a great from. severance package. Yeah. I'm sure they're probably. all taken care of probably for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Now. I mean, uh, ones who were with her for forever, yeah. you know. And well, you know, I, has he said already he's going to get rid of them? Uh, that's what I heard. Well, you heard uh, it on Fox. I didn't hear it from his mouth, but I heard yeah, it from you know, somebody. I, I'm, I'm, what I'm sick of here. Yes, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not sad that she's dead. She died at ninety, what, ninety four, ninety four, ninety six, something 96, like that. Ninety six, something like that. Anyway, ninety six. Uh, anyway. I can't feel sorry for her. I, I, I say, uh, hey, it's a life well lived. Yeah. She did a good job as queen, you know, right? Now, you she know, died but, but, in Balmoral, uh, which is in uh, Scotland. Scotland, yeah. Is that, is that where uh, Trump has his golf club? Is, is it Balmoral? Might be. Might be. Uh, yeah, there's, he has a golf club in Scotland. It's it's Saint Andrews, I think. Saint Andrews. But, uh, Saint Andrews, uh, yeah. but uh, I think is that's the possibility. It's in Balmoral. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So now, uh, getting back to the monarchy, uh, you know, people. The Queen might have been a very nice person, mm -hmm. and you know, the the family is like every other family, a little messed up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I look at it and say, we fought a revolution to have uh, to be free of a king. Yeah. And uh, and and there's so many people that are just enamored with the with the queen and, and the monarchy uh, mm -hmm. where, you know, we as a country, we spilled blood. Uh, a lot of fortunes uh, were uh, were lost because of uh, the Revolutionary War. And uh, there was there was a lot of well to begin uh, with that happened that happened a long time ago. Well, it, it did, but you know the the idea was so secondly, we I mean, you know, our Canada is still part of the Commonwealth, well, yeah. and 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 they act like it all the time. What do you mean they act like it all the time? Well, you know, uh, they they take away they take away rights now. Uh, uh, who's the uh, kid running the country now? Uh, in Canada, uh, uh, his father ran it too, and he may be. Uh, he, he may well, be. When you uh, come up with his name, you'll have the right to put him down. Yeah, well, he, he may be the son of the of Mick Jagger, because uh, I think his mother was uh, was oh, dating Mick knock Jagger. Knock it off! Knock it off! Oh well, hey, okay. Uh, get, in England, and I'll tell you what th things I don't like. I was in England. Uh, here's when what, I was here's what he doesn't like about England, folks. I, you know, well, the only thing I, I can say. This is what I don't like about the monarchy. The only thing I can say about England is it's boring. Okay. Uh, well, the food sucks. Food is horrible. Yeah. Now, uh, I went to a bar, uh, and uh, in England, uh, the Queen said that mm -hmm. pubs had to close at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, and, and now maybe they close at 10 30 or 11 in some towns. But in 1973, they closed at 10 p.m. because the Queen felt that uh, her 
people should be in bed by 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. So these are the kinds of things yeah. uh, and lacks of freedom that you get when uh, you have a monarchy like this. Now, uh, I went to a place called Count Suckle's Q Club in West Paddington, and uh, it was a private club. Why is it you always have to give us a tour of any country you've been to? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like well, you're bragging. Well, I was there and I went to this club, which well, none of us heard well, of, so it doesn't really well, matter. How, how how would I have known that they closed these uh, pubs at 10 o'clock if I wasn't there? So the experience I had at Count Suckle's Q Club was they were open till 5 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And how did they do that? They did it because they would charge a, an admission that you join the club as a member and as a member club, it could be open later, but just your normal pub, you know, where uh, Harry and Sally go, mm -hmm. they had to go home at 10 o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, the, you know, the, that's an example of some of the overreach that the monarchy has in England. And, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. But on the other hand, who's she to tell me what time to go to bed? Well, I, you know, I... They, they, it's always been well, for years a lot of people have been complaining about the the, uh, the monarchy yeah and, and and about about the queen and having a queen and the expense of a queen and uh, all of that and uh it's just you know it's well she's a figurehead and uh the, you know i guess uh a lot of people in england uh, thought that this would be the end of the monarchy mm -hmm. and uh, you know the kids would go their way and and that would be the end of it but um, it's it's yeah. not the case yeah um, you know Charles is going to try to play king and um, he's so dour and uh, I, no, I think he's fine you know he's fine yeah he look, yeah he looks fine he looks the part. I'm a little out of sync tonight folks we're yeah. out of sync a little bit you won't uh, you won't not on, uh, not on YouTube well, you can't. Oh, oh, hear, no, not on Zoom. Not on Zoom. You Maybe on yeah, YouTube. You can't hear the audio. No. But okay. I think we're. Are we a little out of sync, people who are on? Uh, uh, what do you call it? On. Uh, oh, on the uh, chat. Uh, chat. Thing? Yeah. Are we out of sync at all, or am I okay? Uh, I, it looks uh, like it's almost okay. All right. It's just uh, a little bit off sync. Some guy named Matt says doesn't work on my Apple TV. What I doesn't what work on his Apple TV? Uh, Matt, well, I don't what know. Does, what doesn't check. work on your Apple TV? Yeah, I don't know. Some, some. Uh, so who Matt cares if we're out of sync? I don't give a crap. I'm giving up on this whole thing anyway. Okay. Yeah. So Slowly what? Are, what are you going to do? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to the park and huh? the turtles. Yeah, give, uh, do videos with Marjorie, but she. She, her mouth doesn't work that well right now. Oh, the TMJ thing. Yeah, so she's not good for anything. Uh, does she use she's not good a for mouth doing, guard? She's not good for doing the show out in the yeah. park, things like that. She's not yeah. good. Even you know, other things she's not good for. That mouth just doesn't work right now. Well, It's uh, better, though. It, it's getting better. Is it that she clenches her teeth when she's asleep? Um, n no. I don't know what caused it, but the the dentist got her jaw back into shape. She's going to see her again tomorrow. She yeah. pulled and tugged and pulled, yeah, got, you know. Uh, got, chiropractors do that too, you know. Well, I I rather a, a professional dentist does this work. Yeah, you know, don't go sending people to chiropractors to get TMJ <laughs> taken care of. Yeah, and well, uh, I use I use something called a mouth guard. It's no, she, a, a she. You know, you, you, you bring up this stuff, and we all know it. She, she's she been using a Marth mouth guard since she was a kid. She had, puts one in every night. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, I asked you, you know, was she using yeah, one? Yeah, but that didn't stop the TMJ. Something happened, and she uh, she had a problem, and she can't you know, can't talk. And now her hand is has got completely arthritic, so she has to go get shots in that. Yeah, uh, and uh, so she can't use her hand, and her mouth oh, won't work. So wh what good is she? Yeah, it's well, a defective wife. You know, <laughs> I, I I'm going to take her back to where I found her and and get my money back. You know. Uh, well, you know, it's it's for better or for worse, um, and you know, you're you're getting the worse <laughs> anyway. Uh, so anyway, I, I uh, you know. 
So, so my wife has got a problem. All right. Yeah. Uh, are you happy, uh, you know, in, in general, or are you feeling good? Or yeah, tonight I'm feeling all right. You know, my back's been killing me. I got I got a whole back problem now. You really? Know? But I went to see the uh, the. Uh, oh, yeah, here's the thing. Here, here. This is this is fun. You're gonna like this. I went to the. Um, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? the? Uh, I know you went to the oncologist. I went to the oncologist, right? Right. So they they say, would you fill this out? And it's like ten pages of stuff, yeah. asking me how often do I get erections? Can I get an erection? How's my urination? How's my defecation? I mean, yes, no, yes, no. But the the top page that I got. Let me see if I can uh, get it here. Uh, I, I, maybe I could, no, I can't show it to people. I don't have it set up to show it to them. I, mm -hmm. I, I photographed it so that I could read it to you. Yeah. Additional prostate patient questions. This was the, on the top page. All right. What terms best express how you describe your gender identification? Man, woman, non-binary, transgender, none of the these describe me, but blah, 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 blank describes me. Prefer yeah. not to answer. Uh, what, what about what, pronouns? What was your biological sex assigned, uh, uh, sex assigned at birth? Wow. Male, this is crazy female, stuff. Female, male, intersex. I didn't know. If you're born, they say, oh, I'm sorry, not male or female, he's intersex. What? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. None of the yeah. above describe me. Blank describes me. I yeah. prefer not to answer. Which of the following best represents how you think of yourself? Gay, lesbian, straight, bisexual. None of these describe me. Blank describes me. Prefer not to answer. And the final one is if you identify with a sexual role, which of the following do you think of yourself? And I. I, I check the wrong one I I checked I do not want I do not identify with a sexual role uh, but I didn't mean to yeah because you have are you ready for this and yeah. you tell me what it means first choice is insertive I think that's a gay thing no 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 that's a top you're insertive oh yeah you're, you're uh, insertive yeah. yeah receptive bottom yeah but wouldn't that be in wouldn't the person having sex with somebody in the butt be a insert a be insert no be insertive i would then be insertive wouldn't i no I, but if i'm I receiving I it i guess i would be and then it's versatile that that's a good one that's yeah. up or down up or down yeah uh, no. and, and none of these describe me, blank describes me, prefer not to answer. But that is the first page. Wow, and that's the whole page. Is there anything in there about what are your pronouns? You know, uh, and lately, uh, you know, I'm doing that DA thing, and uh, they want you to ask the person that you're working with, uh, what, do, what do you prefer, what are your preferred pronouns? You know, he, she, it, uh, and so forth. Have you encountered that yet? No, no. You know what it I is. Pre I, prefer, I prefer to be called an asshole. <laughs> well, you don't even have to prefer that. People will do that just as a matter of course. But I mean, it, 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 it bothers me uh, that you know. Uh, you know, here's my here's my suggestion. Let's just work around all of this, okay? When you die. Okay, and the flesh is falling off your bones, and now all that's left are bones. Yeah. And they find those bones, and they look at them. By simply looking at the pelvis, they say, well, it's a woman, or it's a man. And I don't care if you've had a sex change. You still it's can't still. change your skeletal. So what you, we should do is just say, what is your skeletal identity? <laughs> really? Well, how would you, how would you know? Did you know no, that, that your found... ske your skeletal identity is a male? Yeah. Know? And even if you went and had your dick cut off and became a female, you would still have the skeletal remains of a male. 
but you could use your same name, Alex Bennett. You'd have 14,700 followers and 95,000 views if you cut your dick off. Well, yeah, but I would still, once I'm buried and, yeah. and I become a skeleton, my skeletal remains, skeletally, I'm a male because I well, will never be able to change the pelvic area and, what, that's and, true. and its identity. They found a skeleton uh, in Poland recently, and they're saying that it was the skeleton of a vampire. And uh, it, it had a sickle uh, around its neck and it, when, it was, when it was buried. Uh, so, what do you mean you a know. sickle around its neck? You know, you know, like a sickle that they cut grass with. Yeah, and it was around the neck of the skeleton, and then and it was well, buried. How do they know it was a vampire? This is what they're claiming. See, I what I was hoping with this whole thing going on in England, I mean, they are schle they are schlepping this poor woman's body to hell and beyond. You know, yeah, only four uh, more days. Well, if she was Jewish, she'd be buried by now. Yeah. Okay. You it's know, Jewish, you wouldn't be a queen. <laughs> you know. Well, you could be the king of Poland or something, I guess, and be a Jew. No, I don't think you know. Uh, Jews up until maybe World War II weren't allowed to own land, and uh, it's the land that makes you uh, gives you title. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, the point is that they've been dragging her body to hell and back. And uh, I, I, I mentioned to Margie, wouldn't it be fun if all of a sudden she, the casket opened up and she came out? <laughs> you know. Or if she wasn't in well, there. Well, what I was saying is, I think it'd be interesting if she was a vampire. Yes. You know. Uh, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They put a little dirt from Transylvania in there. Yeah. You know, I happen to be a lord. A friend of mine, she gave me a certificate that says that I own one inch of land in Ireland and that I am a lord. And, uh, you know, like, so I've got a title. Well, when I, was a, when, to prove when, it. when I was a kid, they had a show called uh, Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. I remember that. Okay. And it was on, uh, it was on radio. This was the radio version. Oh, okay. I used to and, watch. And uh, they they said uh, they, so. They had a thing where somebody at the company got this great idea, or maybe some guy got this great idea, and then sold it to the Quake. Uh, what was the what was the sponsor? It was Ralston Purina Company uh, to do this? Went to the dogs. So what he did is he went bought an acre of yeah. land in the Yukon, maybe two acres, three acres, right? Of land yeah. in the Yukon. And then what they did is in every box of cereal, and I can't remember which cereal it was in, you could get yourself one square inch of land in the Yukon. Wow. Right? So I got one, and I had it hung up on my wall. Right? So you're a Canadian landowner? No. Yukon. The Isn't Yukon. the Yukon in Canada? No, it's in Alaska. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I owned one square inch. And I was thinking that one day I would try and find that thing <laughs> and, and go to the Ralston Purina company and say, how much is my one square inch worth today? Yeah, I don't think very much. You know, there was a book called The Source by Michener. And uh, one of the things that was in it was they had a forest where supposedly very wealthy Americans would donate money to plant trees. Mm -hmm. And they would name the forest after this wealthy American. But they changed the sign every time one of the donors would visit. So one time it's the Schwartz Forest, another time it's the Rabinowitz Forest. And so they had a sign and it constantly changed uh so that so it was like a con where uh here here's the forest you donated all of this money to plant trees what does that have to do with my one square inch well your one square inch could have been sold to a lot of different people and i didn't like the cereal otherwise i would have bought more of it known well, more more I square thought inches Ralston purina's claim to fame was horse feed and dog food no people food uh, really okay because purina oh, people, dog people chow food Purina yeah. owned, uh, and maybe still owns, I don't know, Jack in the Box. And that would make sense. So I, I used to Jack refer to it on the air in San Francisco as, you know, Ralston People Chow, Purina People Chow. Yeah, well, if you eat a Jack in the Box, it's kind of like eating dog food. 
Yeah. You still have them out there, don't you? Oh, yeah. See, we yeah. don't have a lot of those things here in Manhattan, so I never come across them. Uh, yeah. I stopped at in and out on the way home today and got a protein-style burger uh, because I wanted to, I'm, I've been eating early. I've been doing intermittent fasting, and I've actually lost weight. Uh, I am down to 210 uh, from 218. It's well, only you're lighter than I am, but how much do you? How much? How tall are you? Five eight. Yeah. So I'm a lot shorter than you. I'm about four feet tall, four inches taller <laughs> than you. Yeah. Yeah. You used to be five inches taller, but you shrunk. Yeah, something like that. Uh, let yeah. me just bring uh, somebody in here. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, Alan. Okay. And, uh, do you know? and yeah, he he never shrinks. I think Phil is a receptive. On, on that on that thing you filled a recept, out. A recept, How would you know? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I I signed that I I didn't know or that I would prefer not to say or I I do it with somebody else I don't know something else and I I didn't look closely because it said it said receptive and then in parentheses top. So I'm a top. Well, that's definitely not Phil. Although I yeah yeah I mean I'm I'm an insertive. Okay, I'm not saying that I where I insert it. Well, maybe you're assertive. <laughs> assertive. I, I, I got you, Phil. We we heard about the language. Yeah, hmm? we got it. Yeah, the English language has a lot of words. Yeah, yeah, a lot of words. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them French. Le Français. Yeah, you know, it's, there. There's a lot of. Uh, other languages that make up the English language. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you, know, you know, Phil, next time your jaw is out of alignment and you're, you're diagnosed with TMJ, let your chiropractor readjust it for you. He has. Oh, uh, okay. uh, they, he actually is adjusted in my palate. Uh, you know, they, they go up on the, on the roof of the palate and they and they do uh, they put some pressure and do some adjustments because uh, I had some my jaw hurt. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Know. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because um. uh, I I go when I do go to a chiropractor, it's a Nuka chiropractor. And Nuka is a very gentle form of chiropractic. They don't do they don't crack your back it, and do all of it's those not things. Chiropractic. It's chiropractic. Yeah. Yeah. Why cracky? <laughs> I, in this case, I agree with Phil. I think it's chiropractic. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look it up. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm looking at Charlie's mm -hmm. shirt. Would you read it to us tonight? I T. I'm just in it for the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like Phil, that. explain that to us, Phil. <laughs> well, I, I I think everybody got it. Well, uh, if that's true, explain it to us. Oh well, the cash is a uh, memory from for a computer, and if you're into yeah, yeah, much faster than regular memory. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I didn't get it, so I wanted to get it. usually uh, it usually resides. You don't get anything. It usually resides somewhere other than on a I, hard drive. At least drive. I have more than one square inch in, in my pants, like you. Do. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, you, you, well, the only thing you got was the thing about the top and the bottom. I, you know, where's your mind lately? Well, you're always talking about your assless chaps, so I figured. You <laughs> no, know. your assless chaps. That must be, I, they don't make hey, them. Hey, go I, get them. They're in his living room. It, yeah, well, they, By the way, was, did you, anybody here ever go down to the Folsom Street Fair? Yes. Yeah. 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 Explain well, it. Bill. Explain he it. To, explain it to people. It's a phenomenon. Well, it, it's a I gay. It's advertised. advertised. Really? Yes, on Channel 20, and they at the Folsom Suite of Street Fair, uh, they had a table, and I had brochures there for the carpet store. Good. Anyway, I, it, I it, gay it, people it, spend money. It, it's you know? a gay. Uh, it's described yeah. as a gay street fair, right? Right. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, people are like screwing each other in the street. Wow. They're whipping each other in the street. You're just jealous. Uh, they're, uh, uh, but what I saw, I went down there once, and I just said, oh, let me see what it's like. 
And well, the one thing that just immediately turned me off was a big fat guy with a hairy ass in assless chaps. That was <laughs> Alan. And I said, I said, how can any gay person find this sexy? You know? I don't know. Well, there, there are people that like fatties. Mm. Uh, you, you know, I, I the first time I was in New Orleans, uh, it was right. It was like a week after well, the they're Mardi called, Gras. They're called uh, what are they called? Bears or something? Yeah, yeah. And and uh, so I'm sitting in a restaurant on Bourbon Street, and I'm having a very. See, he's nice always sitting. Dinner. Oh yeah, we've been to New Orleans, and I went to Bourbon Street, and, and right. then I had a beignet, and then I it, went. No to, beignets. Uh, Those are too fattening. But there was a <laughs> girl out in front on the sidewalk, and then all of a sudden she pulls up her shirt. Yeah, uh, they do that. I, yeah, I, you know, I didn't know that they did that. And I'm looking at it, and I said to one of the other people that I was having dinner with uh, from the convention, I said, did you see that? And, and, and then she did it again. And then I saw some girl giving guy head on the sidewalk. And, uh, and you pushed the guy out of the way for you to get that. <laughs> I was still eating, <laughs> but well, I wouldn't miss a meal, can't you tell? <laughs> but uh, you know, it was—I uh, never—I did. I had no idea they do it for beads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they well, get the, in the news is one of your people this week. What? what, what? Yeah, the one of Phil's people, Mike Lindell, was yeah oh, coming out of Hardy's restaurant. Can't believe you. Uh, by the FBI, and uh, they took his cell phone because of all the conspiracy stuff he did around yeah. the big lie yeah. of Trump. Well, anyway, um, let's get back to this. Oh, you're getting us sorry. off the track. I mean, I can always rely That's, on you to do that. Well, if you want to talk about assless chaps, you, you no, know, I was going to talk about the fact that I, there was a place here in New York that I loved going to eat at called the Brasserie. Yeah, uh, and many times I would meet my friends there, and we would go. They had uh, they like three o'clock in the morning. You get the world's just great eggs Benedict. Okay, hmm. so one Wasn't morning, the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco oh, have a, the brasserie in the basement. Remember, I'm not uh, talking about that. I'm talking about this place called the Brasserie in New York, okay. in New York which I'm was under sure. the Four Seasons Come restaurant. On. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Phil's always got to give us another, oh, I've been to such and such, and well, I went such Phil's and such. Phil's travel and such. log. This is just another travel log. Yeah, well, we don't care. Anyway. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm sitting there uh, with my friend Bruce Davin, who, who was the editor of uh, Screw Magazine at the time, and we were just sitting there uh, uh, having breakfast at about 3 in the morning, and all, and it, it was in a basement, and it, there was this big stairwell, a staircase that came down, right? That when you came into the place, you had to walk down the staircase and come into the brasserie and get a booth and go eat, right? So you're sitting, and they had a counter. You could eat at a counter. So all of a sudden, at the top of this staircase appears a woman, topless. And she walks down the stairs, <laughs> and walks over to the counter and orders some food. And we're all watching this. And I said, what, what's this all about? He said, <laughs> and, and, and Bruce David said, well, I'll go over and ask. <laughs> so he got up and walked over to the counter and sat down and engaged during conversation. And after a little while, he comes back and I said, What's that all about? She's sitting there at the counter, topless. And he says, she said that she's a hooker and it pays to advertise. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen the guy selling carpet with assless chaps? Isn't that indecent exposure, you yeah. know? Uh, and and, and you know, that was the Four Seasons? If nobody complains, right. it's, yeah. it, you know, she finished her meal, she left, and that was it. But you said this was the Four Seasons Hotel? No, uh, the Four oh. Seasons Restaurant, Phil. Oh. One of the most famous restaurants in America, which is now closed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
I, you know, the brasserie in San Francisco, when I first moved to San Francisco, it was open 24 hours. It was God. in the- He's gotta talk the about the cheap ass brasserie that he knows about instead well, of the one that was very I, famous. I couldn't believe that uh, coffee- I, I, I was so famous that one day I went in there to have uh, some lunch yeah. and uh, Ted Kennedy was in there having lunch with a bunch of other people and laughing it up while his brother's funeral was just finished down the street. <laughs> Those I read. They probably yeah, read the will. Bobby Kennedy's uh, funeral, I swear to you, yeah. was he, he was there laughing his head off. I'm going, I don't know. They're all mourning their own way. What were you going to say, uh, uh, Charlie? Charlie. I was just going to mention mm -hmm. that in Austin, Texas, it is not illegal for a female to be topless anywhere. In San Francisco, it isn't illegal for a man to walk around nude. And if you sit on a bench, you just have to put a napkin underneath your tush. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're a waiter at the brasserie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the, the women, brasserie... women, women should be allowed to go topless because men are allowed yeah. to go topless. Absolutely. Exactly. They do in Nice in France. At the, Absolutely. You know, what do you uh, mean the, the nice beach is... Any beach in Europe is is naked yeah, if you want no, it's yeah. topless. Well, it's you know it, more so there I, there's a lot and no matter where you go italy france you know i have well, i don't know in britain they make cover themselves i don't know yeah they have I mean, not just in swimming areas in just walking down the street they can be topless in a restaurant they can be Where's this that i gotta go visit that truck. austin texas every uh, once in a while i'll, I'll be there tomorrow can really? you imagine alan topless ah, i'm not talking about me i'm talking about the women being topless <laughs> My luck, the first person to be topless would be somebody like you. Yeah. Uh, but so my luck, you'd be the guy wearing the assless chaps. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you, Phil. <laughs> By the way, my, right now my friend Shecky... Is wearing assless chaps? No, is in the hospital. Oh, I'm Ooh, sorry. Yeah, he's getting an MRI. I don't know why, at this time of the morning. Really? Uh, yeah. It had to do with him passing out or, or fainting or well, whatever. Well, he's been having a fainting thing, and it looks like it may be the, the short analysis is anemia, but they don't know what's causing it. So, It was the food that, uh, that uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike uh, Lindell. Uh, Mini Phil. <laughs> no, Didn't you I'm... bring food over to his house? <laughs> oh, Tony. Yeah, you yeah. didn't you didn't know this about Shecky, did you? Take it on Tony. Tony, Tony can make a killer ham yeah, sandwich. What 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 did you say? Tony? Yeah, he, uh, he told me he went to the doctor on Tuesday for blood work, I think. Yeah. And when and when the blood work came back it said he had anemia, so he went to the emergency room. Uh oh. the doctor said get to a hospital immediately. Wow. The only time I ever had anemia, I had an ulcer. And I had been bleeding internally. Mm. Oh. You see, and you, you never know. You never know. Aren't vampires anemic? I mean, I went to my oncologist today, and uh, he uh, he gave me pretty much a clean bill of health. You know, he hasn't seen me in two years, but I told him I didn't need a PSA test because I have a doctor that does it regularly. So he said, what was it? And I gave him the numbers, and he went, couldn't be better than that, you know. It, yours is non-detectable? or Undetectable. That means anything yeah. under a point two is yeah. considered undetectable. And uh, so I got a pretty good, you know. He said, but they keep they ask you all these embarrassing questions. So, it, how often do you have sex now? I said, what? <laughs> it's only good for peeing. Yeah, really, I got carpal tunnel from how I often said, I have. Sex. He said, I don't have. I said, I don't have much of a sex drive, and uh, you know, I it's kind of I don't get a much of an erection. Um, and my penis, which I had great pride in, is now just kind of like. A Vienna sausage, you know. Why don't you get a piercing in the end of it and decorate it? Well, no. <laughs> anyway, would you like that, Alan? Yeah, anyway, no. and then he said <laughs> to me, he, well, he said, Unlike well, your... he said that may just be your age. He said, if you were younger and had this operation, you might get over it. He said, you still in a couple of years, you may get all your sex drive back and all of that. I said. Oh, that'd Liars. be horrible. I'll be 84. What can I do with a sex drive? You know. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, but he said no. He said it's it's all everything's going on is normal. Uh, so. Yeah. 
Well, now, uh, Tony's PSA is bigger than your PSA. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a huge PSA. Yeah, yeah you and me both. Yeah, Tony, what do you got, a three-point something? I think it's a 3-1. Three 3-1. One. Three one. Three one. Wow. So when are you getting your next blood test? I have my oncologist tomorrow. Your urologist, so, you mean? No, no I got, I'm going to the oncologist tomorrow. The oncologist? But, yeah. You mean you the cancer the doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have cancer. to go over it. I was, it was, my urologist left it up to me, but because cause I have a Gleason 3-3, three, three, which is a grade one, which is the lowest. But I wanted to Gleason say- Gleason 3 to is watch nothing. Me. I know, but he, he, they work together and I wanted to- It's not to even see, enough to get Alice to the moon. But you know what he told me, Alex? I was going to, I was going to tell this to- I was didn't even get that. Phil. Yeah. I'm, I'm he made the appointment and I just your your uh, internet is consultation so he sees well, how he wants to, how I want to handle it. Tony your oh, your internet, internet is, your internet is choppy. Files. Yeah, it's screwed. can you hear me now? Barely. Hello? Do you, are you using wi Wi Fi? Yeah, Fios is having a problem by my house, I think. The uh, tower down the block, like the antenna. Oh. Now you're, right. now you're. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. It could have something to do with your Wi-Fi and where you're. You know, yeah. So is. my urologist, I don't know if you can hear me. He told me, uh, said it's the lowest. He says you could watch because you know it's not you're not in danger. But I that was like a month ago when I he did genetic tests and everything, so I didn't have no markers. But I wanted to make the appointment with the oncologist so I can he can go over everything with me, so just to lay out what I want to do if I wanted to. Well, they, you know, when they tell you about these Gleason scores, they're full of shit. They told me mine's a three three, and then when they operated on me because my PSA went through the roof and they pulled out my prostate, they sent it uh, to you know be analyzed, and it was actually a three four. And the guy said it was good that you uh, had this done. Mine was a three. Yeah. Mine was a three four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he went in there and he did the uh, he did the radiation, and he yeah. said, "By the way, he says, uh, you know, we're we're they, we're uh, it, we're doing a whole thing on that radiation. It's the, the what they call the cyber knife in some cases, but it's really stereotactic is what it's called. And he said that we're doing a study because." It, it, a study hasn't yet, definitive study hasn't been done yet uh, to see you know, how people have come out from having this because it's only five treatments as opposed to 25 treatments you know, every other day. And he said it's much more preferable. And he said, I think it works just as well, if not better, at wiping it out. And uh, he said, we're, but we're, we're taking all the statistics and so on, so you're a good statistic on this. And I said, yeah, I said, I enjoyed it. I said, that was my favorite thing, going in every day and having this little machine, kind of this robotic machine, come around and look at me, you know? Did you have to do and it I with go, a full hi, bladder? how are you? You know, what? Did you have to do it with a full bladder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you have to drink, uh, I had to drink <laughs> yeah. four glasses and it's of water. awful. No, it's just water. Uh, no, when I, uh, when I did it, I, I got seven weeks of radiation when the cancer came back. Yeah. And I I would run from the machine to the to the to the restroom uh, because it was almost impossible. Uh, they wanted your bladder so full. He's like a. Well, no, here's what happened. They wanted my they, the they wanted my bladder full, so you do like about five glasses of water. Right. They, I had a whole thing. They had this whole thing. They did a rehearsal with me came in I put on the smock and everything and then I go I drink five glasses of water and then they take me in there lie me down on this thing and the machine goes around for a while and you know was looking at stuff and the doctor was in there and he was saying get that dude and then they go okay we're through well one time about the almost towards the laugh I think it was the fifth time I did it I'm, I'm lying there and they say um, listen we're gonna ask you to do something could you go out and Half empty your bladder. There's, oh, that's, there's, that's there's, hard. there's how do you half there's empty it? Too much liquid in there. In fact, why don't you just urinate and then drink more water and then come back in? And I said, let me try to get rid of it without having to get rid of all of it. Okay. <laughs> and I, that was difficult, but I peed and then I stopped and I just 
girded against it and went back in and said, quick, do, you do, do this, do this quick, okay? And they did it, and then I immediately said, can I go now? Yep, and I ran off to the bathroom, you know. Yeah. Oh, but, that's torture having to stop. Yeah. But that was a yeah. that was a lot of fun. And then this doctor, as my oncologist, did the seeds, you know, uh, and that was uh, that was slightly different. You know, that was a surgical procedure. Why so. Why are you even dealing with all this stuff, Tony? Hmm? Three three is the best <laughs> number you can have. Don't be a, Don't be a doctor. Let his doctor be the doctor. Yeah. Well, my urologist did say what Alan said. He was, he says, not to worry. He says, but if you want me to make the appointment, I kind of did because I wanted to just go through all channels. A Gleason 3 is not terrible, okay? But if, if they want you to go to an oncologist to get his opinion, you know. Uh, it sounds I'm, like Tony wanted to go. Well, yeah, he did. I'm, I'm sure the oncologist, like I had some oncologists look at my numbers on what they thought was, you know, some kind of like uh, leukemia or not leukemia, but what do you get uh, in the lymph oh, lymphoma, lymphoma. lymphoma. So they sent all my stuff over to a blood oncologist guy, and he just they just said, we don't want to see you. you. We've looked at all your blood work and all the work they did on you at the hospital, and we don't see any reason to see you. Froze. You know, so, oh, that, that's happening to me every now and then. Yeah. I have no idea why Only that happens. Only when Phil's on this show. You, you know, the, the thing is, the people who have been calling this show are all getting cancer. You know, do you think that there's uh, some correlation between GabNet and cancer? Yeah, and we're all Tony older. got it. I got it. Alex got it. We're all older. Alan wants it. I don't um, have it. You don't have it. <laughs> Jeff has got oh, I don't, it. Mine, mine got is, everything else, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, mine is 0. 0.6, my, my, hmm. my PSA number. Wow. Hold on a second. I'm still trying All to right. take trying care to of the brief. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, I'll let you know uh, how everything what he tells me tomorrow. But I mean, my urologist was like, you know, you, you really shouldn't worry. He says, but if you want, I'll make the appointment with the guy. He says, yeah, I kind of just wanted to hear what he had to say. Really. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do if he has an opinion counter to your urologist and says, I think you ought to you ought to do something with it now? Well, I was thinking of a if I I might do a treatment. I might be open to that. Maybe if oh, I could. Oh, I know what the problem is. Okay, hold on a second. I'll take care of this. Um, I was I went to the wrong thing. Uh, let me see here. Let me go here, and let me go here. Video, and then let me go here, and then I can go here. Okay. There, there you go. There you go. No, I'm frozen again on that one. Oh. oh. A lot here. more red. There we go. Oh, oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, oh, wonderful. What's that? Is okay. that you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, You're hold, moving. Hold on a second. I just got to take care of something else here. Uh, let me get rid of that. Um, that was Tony's prostate making. That's that. my prostate saying, "What's going on here?" Yeah. Not so, okay. Can you say I only got six months to live? Are you saying six months from now or six months? From there we go. Now? Yeah. Joke. yeah, the only guy who isn't terminal here is Ray. I don't know why this thing's this thing has been freezing up. I don't um, have I don't have the cancer. Nah, <laughs> not even a touch. <laughs> I might have a touch, but but what I do have is the COVID. I have the COVID. Oh, oh really? I, hmm. Yeah, they sent me home from rehearsal. I was a I, I took the COVID test. It was like a faint line, and then I went over there and I took another one and I had it again. So they sent me home. Oh bummer, yeah. Tony. And you were in LA. So, this, was this, that, was uh, that I was over gig? the weekend, but now I I'm rehearsing for a play over in Fremont. I had to. I, I wouldn't let me. Yeah, you know, wouldn't let me go to rehearsal. So. Oh. What's going yeah. ding ding? So, what is that? Sorry, that's me getting text messages. Oh, okay. From Tony. Oh mm. yeah. <laughs> At least you're not eating on the show this time. Well, he doesn't feel not like yet. He's got COVID. Now, if he feels like get, going for these interviews, he's doing okay. Well, hey, Ray, did other people have COVID uh, that were participating in this play? Were you the only uh, spreader? Uh, I, I, as far as I know, I'm the only one, but they have, like, really strict rules for theater. You, if you have, if you test, you, you can't go to rehearsal for, like, five days, and then you got to get another test. Yeah. Uh, because if you, if you infect the whole 
past the show's over. The show's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, did you so, have any symptoms, yeah. or could this have been a false positive? Uh, well, yeah. I, the reason I took the test today is because I was feeling really fatigued. Yeah. And I took, and I was on a plane on Friday, and I I know a lot of people who, when they get on a plane, they end up getting COVID. So I just took oh. it just before leaving, and I would, and it came out positive. Did you wear? I mean, a, the line was faint. Did you wear a mask on the huh? plane? Did you wear a mask on the plane? Yeah, I wore a mask yeah, on the to. plane. Yeah. No. Okay. I think you have yeah, to. Wear a mask. No, you don't. No. no, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. A lot, they, most people don't. Back, so you have to. Uh, the last time I flew, they made you wear unless you were eating, so I ate the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> most most people uh, most people didn't have a mask on. I, I had one on. Well, uh, maybe you didn't get it. Maybe there. maybe I got it. In, maybe I got it in Koreatown when I was eating in that restaurant. It could be. Could very yeah, well when be. I uh, you never know. You know. It was really crowded in there, and no one had a mask on. Today, so. when you get COVID, though, it's not like in the old days where when you got COVID, it was this big, you know. Death sentence. Death sentence. You yeah. know, I don't know. A lot of I don't feel sick. Fine. I don't even feel sick. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't feel sick at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? You said that, Alex. When me and my brother tested positive for COVID, my mom was in the hospital. I'll never forget this. So we, gave him, gosh, we told her we tested positive, right? So I was outside with my mask throwing the garbage out. No one would want to come near us. Even if they were 10 feet away, they would just wave and like be like, which I don't blame them. But I was like, wow, I really do feel like a leper. I said. Well, I think we've gotten a little too, uh, a, mask a, lo a little too loosey goosey on this now. Yeah. Uh, you know, you agree, we right? The Alan. Restrictions on the train. I Absolutely. mean, I just think we're getting just a, you know, it's, it, 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 I know we all hate wearing masks. We all hate the mm. rules, the regulations, all of that. But, you know, you keep doing it until you see the coast is clear. You don't yep. wait for it to lighten up because yep. there's, yep. you could still go out in traffic and get hit by a car. All right. Yep. You know, I mean, she wouldn't have look, COVID. What, look what happened to me, though. <laughs> I wear a mask whenever I wear a mask whenever I'm around people like all the time, and I still got it. So probably from you, probably sucks. because of some idiot on the plane had it. Or you know, he, he could he could have gotten in that restaurant at Koreatown, you know, yeah. when you were working. When yeah, could have. Yeah, could have. When, when you were getting fitted, did you wear a mask? Uh, when I was getting fitted. No, but I was only around two women who uh -huh. were fully vaccinated and who had just been tested, tested the day before. We all, everybody on the production. You know something? I, this thing about has, getting yeah, to be tested. This whole idea that you got tested the day before is a, is a nice concept, yeah. but the fact is that you don't know what happened in that twenty four hours. That'd you know, true. I mean, don't know you don't know that they didn't. They were wasn't within a five day period or so. When you were mm -hmm. waiting, to, when they were waiting to get it, and they didn't get it, and so they tested the day before, and they still didn't have it. I mean, I tested on a on a Friday, and I didn't have it when Marjorie had it, and then by Monday I tested, and I had it. Yeah, but okay. you were in a hospital where there was tons of sick people. You know, I rarely wear a mask, and I see people all the time i go out to restaurants worry, Phil. you'll I, get it you'll and get it. knock on wood no, i haven't you'll, gotten it you'll get it have you gotten it yet uh, alan no have you gotten it uh, jeff no no how about I you wear a mask Charlie? everywhere i'm going no i haven't had it uh and you've gotten it uh, uh mm. tony i know I got, it. I, got so it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I mean, Ray, so was this your first uh, uh, COVID uh, uh, positive experience, or did you have it before? Uh, as, as far as I know, yeah, I've never, I've never had a positive test. Um, I, I don't know that I've had it before, Even, but I could have because I don't have any symptoms. I don't have any yeah. symptoms, but I'm positive. So Even I mean, it could have happened before. My son, uh, mm. huh? Your voice even sounds the faint awesome. line, Even the faint line is positive. My voice sounds hoarse. Well, I, I'm yes. in my car and there's an engine running. Well, it's not well you know something. I, I question. I question in a lot of cases the home tests. Yeah. Uh, because they're not as accurate as the uh, what the ones they give mm -hmm. that they have to take a couple of days to get the results back for you. But the mm -hmm. only trouble with those is it's a couple of days to get the results back for you, and in that time you could have gotten infected. You know, mm -hmm. I just signed up for the uh, Omicron booster, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, ha- I have to wait till November 11th uh, to get it. Why? I don't know. That's I think we can just Kaiser. walk. We can just walk. I in, uh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. We can just I walk got mine from Kaiser on Monday. Uh, maybe I didn't sign up quick enough. Well, maybe probably. You know, maybe you should just go to a local pharmacy and say, hey, stick it in my arm. Uh, yeah, um, I think I'll do that. I, mean, I need. To we're going to go up. Shot, we're going to go up to our local. Why do you need it that bad? You don't think it, it, you don't you don't believe in the science? You've told me that you you were that that uh, you know you were smarter than that. You don't know why you went and got the first couple shots. Why are you with? Never said that. Yeah, you did. You're a moron. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I learned from you. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You have said that. You're like I said, you're always first in line to get a shot. And you said, and I know better. Why did I even get the shot? I never said that. Yeah, you did. You're you're dreaming. No, no. Well, you know, Phil goes out into a crowd of morons and they start shouting, one of us, one of us. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, sister. Hold on a second. Let's talk to two people who we... Who, who are always very quiet. Jeff. Who can that be? Jeff. Yes. I have a sister mm-hmm. who's got it, and she's had it for, I think, two months. Mm-hmm. And it's been terrible for her. Really? Yeah. And she has, you know, theoretically, it's gone. But she's she's feels terrible. Well, there are people who long COVID. They, uh, uh, yeah, the long yeah. haul is. Uh, I think I kind of had long haul, and I still do. I think that all, complaining about being tired all the time has a lot to do with mm-hmm. the long haul COVID. I mean, I didn't get it bad. I got it. In fact, I hardly got it at all because the minute I got the 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 COVID, once I yeah mm-hmm. once I uh, uh, got the uh, uh, you know did my test and found, I was supposed to go to the doctor that day so I just called him up and I said Marjorie and I both have COVID we need Paxlovid and he wrote us out a prescription and uh, we were mm-hmm. you know so I never actually got symptoms because I took it that day the day mm-hmm. I tested positive and I really I think I felt some sweats and I think I felt some time but since yeah. since Ray just got the symptoms yeah. Can he get Paxlovid? And yeah. Maybe yeah. past. Yeah. It's five days. Sure. Uh, well, I, yeah. I sent a I sent a message to my doctor already. This yeah. uh, just a few minutes, a little while ago. Uh, so I'm gonna talk to her tomorrow. I think so, here, here in New York, and I'm gonna ask her for some Paxlovid. Right. <laughs> well, the, the thing is that that um, here in New York, a pharmacy can test you for uh, for um, COVID. COVID. And if you test positive, they can just give you the Paxlovid. You don't have mm-hmm. to go to a doctor to get your prescription. So, uh, so Ray, get the Paxlovid. You may feel great today, but in three days from now, you could be in the hospital. But yeah, but it, 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 chances are he's not going to be in a hospital because he's been vaccinated. He's what, had, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ask Charlie how many people are dying every day from, from no, no, COVID no. But it, 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 the, it, the uh, how many of those people weren't vaccinated? Yeah. How many of those people only had two vaccinations, and it was a long time ago? I mean, mm-hmm. there are a lot of the, the, most people who had boosters get mildly ill, and that's it. But oh. with Paxlovid, it even does away with that because it will take your positive test, and the next day after you take Paxlovid. It's normal. It's not, not you're not. Uh, yeah. uh, well, that's what I need because I got to be able to rehearse for my show. Otherwise, well, I don't know. If you, like, I, I don't know if they will let you go back immediately, but it will give uh, you a negative test. Some people took uh, the Paxlovid and then they reinfected two weeks later. That No, but that's not, they, they don't know what that is exactly, but it's, uh, it, it may not be, a, it, it may not be proper to call it a reinfection. Okay. Not a reinfection. It's the continuation of the first infection. And some people, not everybody reacts the same to dr- to all, every drug. And so some people may have needed Paxlovid an extra couple of days to clear their body. Well, yeah, but no, but when they took the Paxlovid and then it comes back the next week, 
uh, it only stays for a day or so, right. and then it and goes not away. Symptomatic. Did that happen to Biden? Symptomatic. Yeah, that's what happened to Biden. You know? Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, they, well they we'll see tomorrow what no. what happens to me. What do you mean? I'm gonna have the the most sophisticated shot tomorrow. What do you mean the most sophisticated? Oh, shot? the the one that I was signed up for on the 11th. You mean the November? Omicron? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go do it, but Marjorie's just been sick, and mm. yeah. you know. So I, why why are you are you concerned about it, Jeff? Oh, we are. Uh, not just for me. Uh, which, you know, if I get it, it's big trouble. But Pam takes care of her mother quite often. Mm -hmm. And her mother's old and... But the thing is, Jeff... He's even, got a risk. If you've been, been fully vaccinated and you get it, you really don't have that much to worry about. I know that you are one of those people who is, you know, has a better chance just simply because of your medical profile. Mm -hmm. But I, I still, I think that you're... you're pretty much protected and if you get it and you then you get the Paxlovid you're good to go yeah okay I mean I mean I'm not well I'm let, not let's afraid check of in with you. Charlie Charlie Her? what, what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> you <laughs> excuse me so they're not gonna get it no we're all gonna Alex you got the COVID no I got a <laughs> got, got allergies or something no, uh, um, uh, Charlie what's the deaths here in the, in the um, US well, we had like 937 deaths today, but the average is, is only about 461 a day. This was to, always Wednesday is always the, the highest day for deaths. Probably for because they're reporting them from the other days or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because they don't report anything over the weekend hardly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But, mm -hmm. but it's, it's but, good that you and Pam are getting that shot. Yeah. Well, she's already had it. I I, oh, I wow. had mine on Monday too. No side effects. Well, that's good. Yeah, and everybody. She felt, she felt terrible for two days. Really? That's better you than know, getting COVID. Yeah. That's better, better than, than getting, getting COVID. COVID. It's better than getting. Oh COVID. yeah. 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 No, we want to go get. We're going to try and get the next one. The next. It's only days. been out for over a little over a week, Jeff. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's good that you're getting it, especially with all your medical issues. You. Yeah. You want to stay COVID free. Look, I, well, I have so many but, you know, medications. Better than having to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, COVID free. Yeah. Get it on sale. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So your uh, your buddy that I talked about a, a few minutes ago, Mike Lindell, the FBI talked to him and stuff, on his talk show, which I listened to for the first time, he said that he is so sure that Trump was wrong. I mean, that wronged. That he that Trump had won. He was so sure that Trump won, and he said, "I will prove to you next week that the Earth is flat." I'm like, "Boy, is this guy nuts!" How do you like resting your head on his pillow? Yeah, they're very comfortable. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I, 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 you know, Lindell's. Crazy. They're probably made in China. Now. Lindell is Lindell is nuts. Yeah, and what right? Lindell Duke did is he took a perfectly thriving business and turned it into a parking lot. Yeah. Yep. You know? Well, I think that's because uh, people didn't like his position. And uh, you should be able, as an American, you should be able to take a position, whether it's contrary to uh, one person or another and not have your business suffer. I think no I think would kill Mike Lindell come on Phil what are you crazy well you know you look at the uh, uh, the guy was a chick-fil-a did you or, just discover uh, that Jeff <laughs> <laughs> or and then there was a pizza guy uh, yeah. uh, uh, Papa you know, John's yeah. Papa John's I mean you know uh, if if somebody uh, like Starbucks the guy's a lefty should I say I'm not going to go into Starbucks and everybody else shouldn't do it either? Well, probably. You can do that. Yeah, but he doesn't. Well, you want. He, he, yeah, it, but, it, it, but he doesn't go on the air and beat you over the head with his political feelings. Well, they try to run for president and then they and the Dems beat him up. Well, you know. Yeah, but he's not a lefty. Yeah, he is. Mike Lindell? No. No, he's, he's talking about the Starbucks, Starbucks guy. No, he's, no, he's no, very no, he, conservative. Yeah, the, people, the 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 founder of Starbucks is is an ultra conservative. No, he's not. 
Yeah, yeah he absolutely Not is. only is he from Seattle, but he ran for the Democratic uh, nomination. I'll look that up for us. Just because he ran as a Democrat doesn't... Look at Joe Manchin. He certainly... He's always been a Democrat. Liberal. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, just because he's running, he doesn't mean he's liberal just because he run, runs for president. Well, this guy Democrat. from Starbucks, I mean, they're a pretty uh, woke uh, company. You oh, know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like what you're, what, what uh, Pam just said in the background. That was yeah. What, what was that? What did she say? Here we go again. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Even Pete's Coffee is in Berkeley. A Pete's Coffee was founded by the founder of Starbucks. Uh, yeah. Oh, they were partners or something. Pete's Coffee. Something like that. Yeah, they were partners and they, they separated. And quite frankly, I always found Pete's Coffee much more. Absolutely. I agree yeah, with I like Pete's. coffee. By, by the way, Ralston Perina did own, I don't know if they yeah. still do or not, uh, uh, Jack in the Box, Alex. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what oh, I said. I well, you think I was I know. lying? No, I believe you. Had just, in fact, you know, on, every, was... on every on uh, every uh, ad, at the bottom is a copyright Purina. But I, but I think the big part of their business before Jack in the Box was dog food. And, and they also the use the checkerboard as part of the yeah. logo. Yeah. If you look at the Jack and uh, the Jack in the Box in the Jack in the Box logo, I think they're like four squares or something. Yep. And one of them yep. is a checker box. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if it's still owned by them, but I don't know uh, damn it, uh, that was some ugly food. I mean. <laughs> now, Alan's favorite place is Wendy's, and I understand that Wendy's is for sale. Uh, you know, uh, and that, that's because the guy that runs it opened his mouth and voted for Trump. I thought he died. Yes, he did. Huh? Yes, he did. Did he die? Oh. <laughs> One less Republican. All right. That's right. Who's hey, complaining? Kenneth Starr died. Yeah. And. You no, know, it, it, it's funny with these fast foods. Burger King is owned by uh, what's the Canadian company uh, with the donuts? Oh, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, oh, uh, 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 it's somebody's name. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh God. <laughs> I wish we had a Canadian here right now. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Smart. It yeah. doesn't it's stop you from that. going to Burger King, does it, Phil? Well, I haven't gone to Burger oh, listen, King. I, you went to, and when you went to Wendy's, Burger you King, agreed Burger with King, bacon meters, great. Burger Burger King were skank burgers. I mean, they yeah, really were. Always have been. You know, always have been, even from the beginning. I always, in many ways, preferred McDonald's because if you got yeah. McDonald's fresh, where it hadn't been sitting under the light for you know ten yeah. minutes, but yeah. just really fresh. It was good. It was great. Uh, one in, time, in one height. time in the old uh, days, I asked uh, Julia Child, "Is do you recommend any kind of fast food?" And she said, uh, mm. "I suggest. Uh, I've always told people the best French fries anywhere is at McDonald's." But Alex, you were minute. talking Let me to Julia Childs, and she taught you how to make a leek salad. How do you do it? Anyway. Uh, I'm not going there. Uh, Tim Hortons is a joke. Canadian place. No, she actually said that on the air. Yeah? Yeah. First you take a leak. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> I just got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but anyway, she, it leak soup it was she was making, by the way. Hey, hey, uh, hey I threw it to you. You know, you, yeah. You had any, anyway, can I continue with the story? Yeah. And I asked Please. her, and she said, the French fries at McDonald's, she says, but what they've done is they used to use a real fat in there, real lard to make mm. the, and they were the most delicious French they fries yeah. in in the world. She said, mm. but they've now they're just using uh, what trans some kind of other fat, peanut and oil she, or something. Yeah, peanut oil or something like mm. that, and they're not as good as they were. But she she swore by. Uh, French fries from McDonald's, and then I had Paul Prudhomme on my show, because Paul he actually came to the show and cooked breakfast for everybody. Wow! Yeah, cool. we we did it at uh, we we did it at the uh, what do you call it the uh, what, the punchline, and he came with his people and just he because he did a thing where he came to San Francisco and was there for a month. And every night you could go to this place and get his food, which he would cook. But anyway, 
I mm. asked him, uh, you know, if uh, uh, you know about any kind of uh, fast food that he liked, and he said the best red beans and rice you will get anywhere in this country, which is a Cajun dish, is at Popeyes. And I've mm. been eating for years. I've been going down to Popeyes. Anytime I order anything there. I always buy the red beans and rice because they're, they're sensational. They're just sensational. Mm. One night I was at one a restaurant in San Francisco and they had on the menu red beans and rice. So I said, oh, I'll order it. I love red beans and rice. And I started eating and it was terrible. <laughs> it was just mm. terrible. And I called, I said, is the chef here? And he said, yeah. I said, I'd like to talk to him a moment. So they brought the chef out and I said, you want to, you know, your red beans and rice are not very good. So what I suggest you do is you get a big pot and you go down to the local Popeyes and fill mm. the pot up and pay them for it and serve that. Because After he threw you out, what did you do? I went down to Popeyes and got the red beans and rice. But no, it, it's always been, it, for the maybe 30 years that I've been eating it, sensational. The chicken didn't used to be that good. Chicken's really good now, uh, and all that, all the, all the, all of Popeyes, the, all, all the people in charge of creating the dishes at Popeyes are New Orleans chefs, famous New Orleans chefs who studied under Perdome. Uh, as and, of, huh? as of December sixth, nineteen twenty one, not twenty nineteen twenty one, twenty twenty one. Del Taco, which I thought was an itty bitty company. Del Taco, over. that's a small. Uh, it's not. We're not mm. talking about. Now they, they they now own Jack in the Box. Mm. Del Taco does. Okay, all right. Del Taco, D E L Taco. Yeah. Okay. And then they also own Del Web. Yeah. There's all. Then there's also there's Taco Bell. Mm. Who's Del Web? So Del what's Del the Web. what's the the cost of all of these places? What do you mean the cost? That you guys go to? Oh, I say stomach problems. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Diarrhea. Diarrhea, uh, vomiting. Yeah. What, vomiting. what do you mean by cost, Jeff? Well, we, we're finding that the cost of food is like doubling. Oh, yeah. 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 Food, whether it's a restaurant or whether you go to a stop and shop. Uh, I, went or, down, I went down to uh, Popeye's and got their chicken. Normally, I walk out of there for $24, $23, $24. It was like $28. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, but on the other hand, well, I bought some ribs at the, uh, at the grocery store the other day, and they were really cheap. I got like a rack for about $12, and I bought another one that was a, not, not a packaged thing, and it was uh, $8. And then I brought them home and I made them, and they're the worst ribs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I do a good job cooking the ribs. I don't do them any differently. I do them the same way. And if, mm -hmm. it, if it's good product, it'll make good ribs. They were horrible. They were ghastly. Mm. I, I saw this thing on Costco where they compared the chicken, which you can buy for $5 well, already that's cooked. That's a five ninety nine dollars chicken, yeah. Right. And then they showed another chicken that you could buy at Costco that you had to cook, and that was twelve dollars and change for two of them. So it would have cost you like six something for an uncooked well, they chicken. They have never changed. They have not changed the price on their chickens. Their chickens are the same size, and it, I, it's their loss leader because the number one selling thing at Costco, hot dog, the chickens, not the hot dog. No, the, the roasted chickens. And the second most purchased thing is their toilet paper. Yeah. Which you need after eating their chicken. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think the guy said you can get two uncooked chickens for 14 and change, but yeah. you could get the cooked chicken for 5.99. Well, that's and... because it's their lost leader. I mean, I'm sure yeah. if they were wow. I'm sure they're really losing money on it right now. But it's still 5.99. You know, and everybody goes there and buys the damn stuff. You know, and the hot dog it. with with a with a drink is a, a buck fifty, and uh, they used to they, use Hebrew national dogs, but they got too expensive. Uh, but they're all they're all beef. They they have the package of the dogs, and they found and they showed that it's more expensive to buy the package of uncooked 
than to get the dog and the uh, so thing. the all beef does right. that include beef lips and beef tongue too? <laughs> I'm sure, probably. Yeah, no, but you can also buy their hot dogs and take them home and cook them too. They're, they're pretty yeah, good. I prefer good. Hebrew National though. I don't yeah. like. I've never liked Hebrew National hot dogs. Never really? liked them. No. I, I like Casper's. When when I used to be able to go into a store and buy Nathan's hot dogs. Yeah. Mm, you're always but good. but the yeah, good Nathan's ones with the skin good. and everything, not the unskinned yeah. stuff. You New Yorkers have something wonderful called Sabaret. You know, that, that's good. Uh, well, Sabaret you can only get at the little stands on the street. You can right. buy the hot dogs in stores, but you can only place you can get them are these these guys in on the corner. That where it's in this uh, this uh, uh, a cart, a cart, and it's uh, they pick it out of the steaming water and like put it in a bun, and, and they have a and, relish. And you don't know where that water has been. Uh, okay. Yeah, but they have a relish that is so delicious. It's, good, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. it's like a pickle relish or well, something. It, that they... The reason why the hot dogs are so good is they're cooking forever in this bacterial no, soup called the water that's in there i, I it, it really that is new york good. water new yeah, york, new york water. water is the yeah. best <laughs> new york water uh, you, you don't even have to filter it it's so good not anymore not anymore no it leaves a stain on the toilet bowl phil <laughs> <laughs> only from your assless chaps <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Back to the same place where we started. That's good. Uh, That's true. You know what they used to call it? The, when, when you, I listened to the beginning of the show when you were talking about the assless chaps. So when I was in high school, they used to have these, they used to wear like spandex pants. <laughs> And there was like fat people who wear spandex. So one time we would say two pounds of bologna in a one pound bag. <laughs> Does that look good? I mean, come on. Well, let's see. My camera only froze once tonight. I don't know why it's doing that, but it could be something new with uh, with with Zoom. But uh, it's probably made by uh, by Mike Lindell. Yeah, but I can, I I, 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 I I know how to solve the problem fast, so I'm not worried about oh, it. We forgot to tell Alex that James Taylor performed for Biden. Yeah, did he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yesterday he came out on the lawn. The market was crashing. The infl inflation was up, and James Taylor is singing "Fire and Rain." <laughs> Come on. Well, you know something. Uh, that's a one. That's, a, that's one act I just can't stand. You hate him. I know you hate James. Oh, I remember you say that one time. You hate him. Always oh, felt he was good in the very beginning, but then he got. He was like he complete. He's completely mediocre. I, was, I told you, I knew he didn't like him. I felt if you would have told him that he would have went nuts. <laughs> who, who is he married to? Another singer? Well, he, he, Carly Carly at one time, he's married to Carly <laughs> Simon. Oh, oh man. yeah, but yeah, you know. but he, he was just just. <laughs> if you hear him singing, I'll you'd be like, oh god. <laughs> you know, every song he sings sounds exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what did he sing on, Tony? I got his great. You're right. You said that once. They do sound similar. I said, yeah. Tony, Tony, what lawn did he sing? Definitely not the moon. <laughs> well, there is the theme song. Oh, wow. <laughs> Made it to the theme song. Ah, uh, well, it's been, it's, been a push. it's been another nice night tonight. Uh, you notice uh, something different tonight? Is that, um, uh, our, our good friend uh, uh, Al uh, is actually widescreen tonight. He's not kind of boxed in a little bit. So I don't know what you did to your camera, but it's looking great. It's looking fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I changed the setting because it kept getting blurry on me. So I went well, to you it. turned it to the right setting, too. Oh, anyway, good, good. Thank you, uh, 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 thank you. Uh, Phil. I appreciate it. Uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, to uh, Alan. Thanks to Jeff Stein. Thanks to Charlie Wallace. And thanks, of course, to Minnie Phil, better known as Tony, Minnie, Tony the Neck. Tony the Neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you owe me money, Phil. Tony. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. Good night, everybody. There they go, right. folks. <laughs> That's our citizen panel for tonight. They're on their way to wherever. Uh, but anyway, I'm not. I'm still not frozen. That's good. And I'm also in sync. That's good too. Uh, and it's all because I have this great new equipment here. Okay. Anyway, 
We'll see you again tomorrow night. We'll be back here uh, at 10.30. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, we like to say it. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Good night.